is cool y'all hope that all you guys are doing well in this tutorial i'm gonna break down how you can create this big crazy eye effect inside of after effects it's actually pretty easy to make and i'm gonna show you guys how you can create it as fast as possible let's go first off before we get into it i want to give a quick shout out to my shop lurking visuals store where you can find all my editing presets and assets for both after effects and premiere pro all of the presets that i sell are my personal presets that i've been using for years while editing music videos and they're such time savers and really useful so if you're a fellow editor and want to save some time while creating your client work head to my shop it's going to be linked in the description but let's get into it so i have my scene right here and i want the crazy eye effect to pop up when he opens his eyes so what i'm going to do is add the bulge effect one and then i'm going to drag it onto my clip once and actually twice and the first one i'm going to name right eye and the second one I'm going to name left eye so I'm going to start off by unticking the left eye effect and then start working with the right eye effect so what I'm going to do is go to the part where it opens his eyes and then move this right here and make sure that it fits to your subject by changing the horizontal and vertical radius like that and then I want to make the bulge height bigger like that so you can either press this bulge center and go along and manually track to your character but in my opinion that takes way too long so what i'm gonna do instead is head to the tracker if you don't have the tracker you just press on window and then press tracker and then i'm gonna press track motion now what this does is it's going to motion track the effect for us so we don't have to manually track it but one downside with this is when you're trying to track small details and just auto track it like this, it is going to mess up. So you have to go back and check it and make sure that it's good. Or you can just go frame by frame and let it track it for you by pressing this button right here. And that's much smoother. And when you're done tracking your subject, you want to press edit target and then you want to select effect point control and then select the right eye and press OK. And then you want to press apply and apply to dimensions X and Y. So right now you can see that it has tracked the effect for us and we didn't have to do too much. But one thing that I want to change is that the effect is still active when his eyes are closed. So what I'm going to do is go to the part where he opens his eyes and keyframe the horizontal and vertical radius and then go to the beginning of the clip where his eyes are closed and then change it to zero. So now you can see as he opens his eyes the effect comes up with his eyes and that's the way that I want to keep it but I actually think I can make it a little bit bigger in height. And now I'm going to do the same thing when he closes his eyes. So I'm going to press U on my keyboard and then go to the right eye effect and then press the keyframes to keyframe it when his eyes are open. And then go to the part where it closes them and change it to zero again. And just like that, I'm done with the first eye and now I'm going to do the exact same thing on the left eye. So I start off by putting the bulge center to his eye and then go to the tracker track motion and then I'm gonna go through it frame by frame so I just finished tracking it uh, it took some time because my motion tracking decided to mess up but I'm going to press edit target and effect point control and then apply it like we did last time and now I'm going to keyframe the radius as he opens his eyes and then press U on my keyboard keyframe the horizontal radius towards the end and then turn it down as he closes his eyes and just like that I have finished the effect and it looks like this right now But that's it for today's tutorial thank you all so much for watching and make sure to subscribe and leave a like on the video because it definitely helps out the channel and i'll